Hi students, coming to our next topic that is timestamp ordering protocol. So in the previous video we had seen that the timestamping method. So in the timestamping method uh, we uh, we learned that uh, it, the timestamping can be generated by using system clock or by using the logical counter. Okay, so uh, the values timestamp values will be there. The read timestamp and the write timestamps. So read timestamp means the largest uh, timestamp of uh, any transaction that execute read successfully. So at one particular time, so the read will be successful. So you have to note that largest trans at what time the transaction will be successful. So that is the read read timestamp. Write timestamp means largest timestamp of any transaction that executed write a successful okay so in the previous video we learned what is the timestamping method and uh, what is the formula that is the ts of one transaction is always less than ts of next transaction so one tra the before transaction is always less than the after transaction means another transaction okay so that should be the formula we we learn there Okay, now coming to the timestamp ordering protocol. So, what is this timestamp ordering protocol? Actually, this timestamp ordering protocol uh, is okay if assures that it assures that it ensures that any conflicting read and write operations. So, it ensures that any conflicting read and write operations are executed in timestamp order. That you call it as timestamp ordering protocol. So, let us see the issues that are occur in the timestamp ordering. So, first one is the TI issues read. So, take any of data item read A. So, whenever the read A is uh, executing means uh, at that time, so what are the TI issues that are occur? Okay. So, the first issue will be if timestamp of TI. So, TI means any other execution like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So, at the timestamp of TI is less than write, write timestamp of A. Okay, timestamp of TI is less than write timestamp of A, then you can say TI is an older transaction. So, we already seen here in the formula. So, TI is an older transaction than the last transaction that write the value value of a okay so ti is the older transaction than the last transaction that write the value of a okay so here the request will fail so request fails so here read is there not that so now coming to the second one if ts of ti so, timestamp of TI is greater than or equal to write of A. So, the transaction, whatever you are focusing on the issues of a read, the transaction TI is greater than or equal to write of A, then here the TI allowed to read updated value of A. So, these are the two issues, the formula uh, issues that are occurring in the read A. Transaction issues read A. So, this is the TS of TI is less than write of A or TS of TI is greater than or equal to write of A. So, uh, these are the issues. So, let us see the example in the issue. So, example is, suppose T1 is one transaction, T2 is another transaction. And this is the T3. T1 transaction time step is 10, 20, 30. So it should be read A, read A, read A. 
so here what is the read transaction of a read transaction sorry read read timestamp of a is 30 okay so this is the largest transaction see see here so 0 is less than 10 okay this is accepted so next transaction is at t3 so 10 is less than 30 so this is also okay next transaction is uh, read operation is done in t2 transaction so here the 30 is less than 20 so it fails so the largest transaction is 30 okay so this here uh, transaction of ta is less than wa and transaction of ta is greater than wa then ta allows to read updated value of a so here transaction ti allowed to read updated value whatever the updated here that updated value will be assigned to read transaction so the updated value here is a 30 so 30 is assigned to read transaction of a okay so now coming to the next issue so this is the first issue that is a t1 issues read of a now let us see the next issue that is the right issue so what will be the right issue T, uh, TI issues right A. TI issues right of A. So, let us see what are the conditions that are occurred while uh, writing the time timestamp writing is occurring in the transaction. So, the first issue is uh, condition is if timestamp of ti any transaction you take 1 2 3 any timestamp of ti is greater than or equal to right of a and timestamp of ti is greater than or equal to read of a so it is both the right of a and the read of a timestamp is greater than or equal to right of a or greater than or equal to read of, uh, read of a than TI is allowed to modify or write value of A and timestamp of TI will become current value of write A. So, these are the conditions. So, if these two conditions are satisfied, then you allow uh, TS of TI will become current value of right of A. So, now take the another condition. So, what are the TI issues right A will occur at another condition. So, that is if TS of TI is less than read of A is less than read of a so what it means is less than read of a means it means the anger transaction anger transaction is already using value of a so, this means transaction TI is less than read transaction of A. It means the anger transaction means the least transaction uh, is already using the value of A. And here the updation is not allowed. Because it is already using the value of A, the anger transaction. So, here the updation is not allowed. If read transaction of a read timestamp of a is less than or equal to timestamp of ti is less than or equal to right of uh, right timestamp of a suppose if this condition is satisfied okay the values that are the transaction is satisfied this condition it means the anger transaction has updated value of a so the anger transactions here is updated a value of a and ti 
So whatever is the transaction 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever the transaction Ti is not allowed to modify A. Okay. So these are the different conditions that issues right A transactions. Okay, so these are the issue TI issues right of A and these are the TI issues read of A. Thank you.